Good morning, folks. I'm here um, on Mill Bay in Kodiak on this frosty morning, and I want to talk about some uh, findings that I recently discovered with four different types of knots. I'm going to point the camera over here just to get a little better lighting. Yeah, that should be better. So I got my handy dandy rope here. Yeah, I was, I was tying four different um, bends and I noticed some uh, similarities with each other and I wanted to share these with you. So I'm gonna stand over here and you can just kind of look over my shoulder. Okay, so as you know, if you form a six like this, and then you form a nine like this with the tag ends on the outside. Then if you overlap them like this and tuck, tuck the ends through, you'll have the Zeppelin bend. So this will go into here and this will go into here. And, and this is a pretty common knot is the Zeppelin bend. Now here's an interesting thing that I noticed. If you take this knot right here and you turn it this way, and then you go under instead, and you put these together, and then you do the same thing like that, then you have the hunter's bend. Now, taking the same six, if you put it underneath, and then you come up through here and you form another six. You'll notice um, this is the Ashley's bend, and I have another video on this. And then if you take the two tag ends and go through the same hole, you have the Ashley's bend. Now another knot that is similar, now check this out. If you take this and you rotate it like this, and then you put the tag end on this side, and then you go down, now you have the alpine butterfly bend. So I thought it was really interesting how all of these knots are so closely related and derived from each other. At any rate, I thought those were some pretty interesting observations and I'd like to hear your thoughts on it as well. So, um, Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.